Good afternoon and welcome to our midweek prayer and meditation time. I am Ronnie Kenny, the Assistant Minister at Unity Orlando, and Susan Francis, our prayer chaplain and board member, and I are going to spend some time with you today. We're going to, uh, Susan's going to read from you fr uh, from the Daily Word, and I'm going to lead you in a meditation, and we're going to, we're going to help relax you during this midweek time. So, let us begin. I'll, I'll get up, and Susan will, will come in, and then I'll be back for you. So, here's Susan. Good afternoon. I wanted to read um, the Daily Word, and it's self-care. I give myself love and care. The care and attention I give myself helps me claim my worth and give myself love. Just as I care for others, I also care for myself because I too am worthy of loving attention and support. Yet I may find it more difficult to care for myself than for others. I might resist the idea of self-care or think I do not have enough time or money for it. I make time for pleasures as simple as laughing and stretching. I care for my spirit with prayer and by reading and speaking affirmations and scripture. I encourage myself for the small changes I make because every act of self-care demonstrates my belief in my worth as a spiritual being. And the Bible verse for today is from Luke 12, 6 through 7. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten in God's sight. But even the hairs of your head are all counted. Do not be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. And so now we have Reverend Ronnie with our meditation for the day. Thanks, Susan. So let's just take a few moments to move our attention inward so we take a nice deep breath and as we release that breath just know that we are taken care of we move our attention inward and we think about that scripture that Susan just read about the sparrows and aren't we more important than the sparrows wow that's pretty important to, to, to know I, I remember another scripture that every hair on our head is counted by God. So how well do you take care of yourself? Do you think that you are worthy of being taken care of? That's what we're gonna we're gonna meditate about, we're gonna pray about, we're gonna offer it up and have some suggestions as, as we move through this space. So take a nice deep breath again and feel yourself relaxing and say these words to your body peace peace be still and just feel yourself sinking into your chair wherever you are and know that God is with you always so I want to remind you, I believe that most of us have been on airplanes before. And the first thing that the flight attendant does is give us the, the regulations, the, the, the rules of the, of the day. And one is, if there's an oxygen shortage in the cabin, down drops the ox oxygen mask for us. And they say, if you have children or elderly people with you, Put your mask on first and then put theirs on. So what does that say to us? If we don't take care of ourselves, eventually we will not be able to take care of others. Oh, we can run on low steam for a while, but we are here. We are spiritual beings in this human body. And this human body needs care. So how do you take care of that body of yours? Obviously, we feed it, we clothe it, we bathe it, we take as good a care of, of our body as we can. Some do it differently than others, of course. 
So beyond the things that we need to, feeding our body and bathing and, and whatnot, there are other parts of us that we need to care for, and that is the energy level with which we operate at. So what does that mean? Well, when we get tired, of course, we need sleep. We need to rest. But many times, if you go without sleep or fuel for your soul as well as your body, you're going to start feeling run down. So as I ask these questions of you, think about them. How do you take care of yourself? on a regular basis to do like regular maintenance, like we do for our car. We may spend more energy and time and money on our car than we do our own bodies. Do you take time to plan nothing for your day or part of your day where you can sit and rest or take a nap if you care to, or do something that regenerates and rejuvenates you? If you are creative, you may be an artist and you want to paint, or you may like to decorate, or you may like to organize your house a different way, or work with pictures and photos to put together for yourself or for others. And many times we can take care of ourselves by actually serving others as well depending on how you are made up. Some people get energy from serving others. My mother loved to cook and take care of other people. So for her, cooking all day was not a challenge. It was an act of service that regenerated, rejuvenated her, gave her energy because she loved to serve. What works for you? For those that are more introverted, they may need time away from people, or they do need time away from people. Sometimes you can, because we live so close, most of us, to the beach or the water, we can usually find a lake that we can walk to or drive to, or go over to the beach and sit there soaking up the sun listening to the waves come crashing into the, the sand over and over and over again. And if you can't get to the beach, I would venture to say we've all been there. We can do it in our mind. We can remember what it likes, what it smells like, the salty air, the warm sun, the hot sun perhaps, maybe a cool breeze, maybe squishing your toes in the sand as the water comes up and makes our feet indentations into the wet sand, or hear the call of the birds as they fly overhead and dive to get fish, or the children running if there's ch children around or the laughter of people, or the feel of water on our body if we like to go in the water, or sitting in a chair all by yourself and just looking at the beauty of the ocean, the rhythmic movement of the waves and the water splashing over and over and crashing on the sand. That's very calming. Maybe that's what you need. Or just sitting out in your backyard, looking at the green grass and the trees, and maybe there's flowers. Just being out in the air, even if it's cool. Here in Florida, it doesn't get cold for too long. Enjoying that crispness in the air or the warmth in the summer. That can be enough to just Soak up that energy and be regenerated, rejuvenated. For others that may live in different parts of the country or the world, 
You may be able to go to the mountains, to, to be there, to actually feel the majesty of the mountain air, like in the Blue Ridge Mountains where it just is just gorgeous, or the Rockies. And again, if we can't go there, we can imagine it. Even if you've never been there, you can go on the internet and find pictures. And just imagine yourself being there and feeling your body relaxing. For others, self-care may look like getting a massage, taking that time to get your body feeling better, working out the kinks and the relaxation and the music, similar to what we're playing right now, can be enough to just relax you or get your nails done or your toes done. Sometimes going out to dinner or more likely these days, getting takeout and bringing it home so you don't have to do the cooking if you don't care to that day. Or calling a friend. Some people like to get up and turn on music and dance all by themselves. Or if you've got people in the home that want to join you to dance and sing and play music. And you know what? If you can't get out of your chair to do that, you can imagine yourself doing it. Our imagination is so powerful. Our mind is so powerful that what we think sometimes is as powerful as when we actually go through the motions of doing it. It's never too late. We're never too old. Watch children, if you have children or grandchildren around, playing and playing and having fun, and then they'll crash for a couple of minutes. They'll come maybe sit in your lap for a moment or two. Then they're off to do their thing again. It may take us more than a minute or two as we get a little bit older, but it's so important to take the time that's needed so what else? What else could you do? Maybe have a new outlook on life. Maybe be willing, because remember, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. That call from within us is strong when we listen to it, to return to spirit, to grow and learn. Maybe take a class or read a book or a Zoom class now, there are lots of those going on. But that, or just spend time praying, lifting up your mind and your heart and going deeper with spirit, allowing God to speak to you. That's the most rejuvenating thing that I can do, is to get in tune with our bodies, with our spirits, with the oneness that we are to all life. And to know that all life has dormant periods and down periods, and we can come back. That doesn't mean our life has ended. It just means for right now, I need to take a different kind of care for ourselves eat differently, maybe walk a little more, maybe ride bikes, or talk to people more on the phone to connect with other human beings. And you know what most of us miss the most are those wonderful hugs that we were giving at Unity Orlando. We miss that. And so we can go in our mind. It's not the same, I understand, but it's better than nothing and give a hug to someone that we care about. Or remember a wonderful hug that we've gotten from people before. And of course, if you have people in your home, to hug them, to share with them, to be with them, that always livens me up. 
So wherever we are, whatever we're doing, whatever abilities that we have or we don't have, limitations that we might have or not, our mind can take us anywhere we want. Use that imagination of yours, your memory, to bring up the good things, the happy things, not the tough stuff. We've all got a lot of that, not that. Remember the good things. We don't want to be weighed down by the, by the weight. We let that go. We forgive if we need to. and We say, thank you, God, for your blessings every single day. So we go back to be aware of that peace that is settled on our heart and our soul. And we know we can come back here. We can bring this peace into any situation. So we say thank you. Thank you, God, for your blessings. So it is. Amen. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for your, your presence, for your gifts to Unity Orlando, your sharing of your, your uh, prosperity with us. You've kept us going, and we so appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also want to remind you that the food drive is still on, so you can bring food on Sundays or Tuesdays from 10 to 3 to share with those in need. If you're in need or know someone in need, please let the office know or Curtis know. All that stuff is on our website. This next Sunday, I'm going to be doing the talk, continuing uh, the series of the 12 powers, and my talk title is Samson's Strength. So I hope to see you then. Enjoy your week. Have fun. Be blessed and bless others. So let's close with the prayer for protection. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. And the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is. And all is well. Amen. Blessings.